This is the Science Blitz. We're going to rapidly go over why there are more than 5,000 studies on how solar energetic particles impact the weather, earthquakes, and biology. Everything from temperature to rain to clouds to lightning to storms to earthquakes and volcanoes to heart attacks, mitochondrial function, and psychology. Today, we're going over a simple physics concept that will help you understand why the sun and solar activity has been tied to, well, almost everything. Most people think of light when they think about the sun, but it's the particles, the physical material energy that impacts weather, seismicity, and biology. This is because the particles are vastly more impactful than the light. If you can't picture that, picture a nuclear bomb. Split just one physical atom and look how much light is emitted. Particles are basically bound light, compacted into them. And so the sun sends these particles to Earth during solar flares, coronal mass ejections, coronal hole streams, and high-energy proton events. While the majority of them are funneled to the polar region of the Earth, once they enter, triggering the aurora, equatorward traveling waves shoot that energy across the world in a matter of minutes. It's moving at the speed of electricity. But the impact of the solar storm also compacts the magnetic field, forcing Van Allen Belt electrons down into the atmosphere to meet the aurorally driven waves. Beyond those, cosmic rays are hitting every inch of the atmosphere every second, and then they break out into particle cascades. Some of this energy does get down into the atmosphere, but the majority is concentrated in the ionosphere at the top of the sky. That also happens to be the ceiling of the global electric circuit, which conducts current up and down through every part of the world, every pressure cell. And as this current is impacted by the solar energy dumped into the ionosphere, it interacts with every speck of the atmosphere, the crust and everything in between, which includes us. Because we know exactly how much of this energy is traveling through different rocks, how it seeks out the cracks, like fault lines, we can consider the items in the ground. Not only is there a phenomenal amount of iron and other conductive metal in the crust, which can obviously be impacted by these electric particles and currents, but there is a tremendous amount of water as well. Water reacts very attractively towards electricity. Here are several examples of electric current pulling water around, just some simple green dye so you can see it better. It also doesn't just work side to side, but up and down. Electric current can force water to defy gravity and push upward on rocks. Is anyone thinking about mega thrust earthquakes right now? You can actually try this at home. Get a plastic spoon, rub it on your hair to build up static electricity. You will be able to bend water coming out of the faucet, like this. Now, the most abundant material beneath our feet is actually a crystal called olivine, and it is piezoelectric and electrokinetic. Charging up here with low electric field dark mode current and using a grounding rod, look at how they translocate, self-displacing upon discharging of the electric energy. Now, the water in the atmosphere is no less vulnerable, and frankly, so are the diatomic elements like oxygen and nitrogen. Dust as well, plenty of that in the atmosphere, and just think about electrostatic Swiffer dusters. No surprise that these particles and currents impact weather, just like they can the earthquakes, and of course, our bodies are no different. Iron and hemoglobin, 66% water by weight, ion channels mediating everything and every function, electrolytes, they call them that for a reason, mitochondrial energy factories in every cell, and of course, neurons and the brain. The solar particles, the cosmic rays, the Van Allen electrons, and the magnetic field fluctuations during solar storms, they all impact the ionosphere, the global electric circuit, and induced electric currents and fields. This is why there are thousands of studies tying solar particle and magnetic energy to weather events, earthquakes, and biological events, physical and mental. I'll see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.